Hello everyone, it's Daniel, Modern Identity Lead from Formula 5. In this video, we are going to talk about automating Microsoft Entra external ID. Because even if we think at first glance that there are no tasks that can be automated, I would like to show you that there are tasks like, for instance, creating conditional access policies automatically or user flows and applications. So let's start. Okay, so let's talk about Microsoft Entra External ID automation. So Microsoft Entra External ID configuration consists of many tasks. Let's talk about them quickly. There can be customer application registration. So every time we want to integrate new application with Microsoft Entra External ID, obviously we have to create app registrations in Entra Admin Center. Once we have app registration, we would like to create sign up and sign in pages, which is called user flows. So in this specific scenario, we have to create a new user flow. And obviously, once the user flow is created in Microsoft Entra External ID, we have to attach application to the user flow. There can be also a scenario where we would like to define new conditional access policies to be used with our user flows. So basically, all those tasks can be automated. So obviously we could go to the Entra Admin Center and do, you know, like uh, clicking and configuration of customer app registration, create new user flow, attach application, create conditional access policy, but also we have chance to automate those things. So how can we automate tasks in Microsoft Entra External ID? We have a couple of options. So the preferred one is using Microsoft Graph API directly or PowerShell scripts. And when it comes to this video, I'm going to show you how to use PowerShell scripts to automate those tasks like application creation or creating new conditional access policy. And obviously, when it comes to automation, Azure DevOps or GitHub tools like this can help with automation. So we can have those PowerShell scripts stored in the Git repository and then trigger the pipeline or GitHub action uh, to, for instance, create customer application to register it in Microsoft Entra external ID. And the cool fact is that from the developer perspective, we have Visual Studio Code extension, which I will show you in this video too. So we can use this extension also to create user flows in our Entra tenant or to register new um, applications. Perfect. So that's it about the theory, because as always, I would like to show you something in practice. So let's jump into demo. So here is Microsoft Entra Admin Center. And as I mentioned, we can basically create different things, configure different things in the tenant manually here. So for instance, under user flows, we can register new user flow. Under app registrations, we can register new uh, customer application. Uh, we can also uh, add new conditional access policies definitions here manually. But the truth is that all those tasks can be automated in a different ways I mentioned before. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to, make, how to automate those tasks using Azure DevOps and PowerShell scripts. So now let me jump into Visual Studio Code. So here is my project open in Visual Studio Code. As we can see on the left side, I have a couple of folders. So there is Azure Pipelines folder because this folder specifically contains definition or definitions for different pipelines in the Azure DevOps. For instance, the pipeline responsible for creating new conditional access policy, pipeline for registering new customer application, pipeline for user flow creation. And we can define different pipelines here uh, or we can define one big pipeline. It's up to your scenario. I just want to underline one thing. This is only the demo to show you that different tasks can be automated, but how you will structure it strongly depends on your scenario. Because uh, also from the developer's perspective, you can try to imagine the situation where you have two types of tenants. One is sandbox tenant or development tenant and production tenant. And for developers, you can, you know, like make their life easier. So uh, you can automate those things. You can define those pipelines in Azure DevOps. So developers, instead of jumping into Entra Admin Center and, you know, like clicking there and configuring things there, 
they can open Azure DevOps, they can open specific pipeline and provide, for instance, application name, and then pipeline will be triggered and application along with service principal will be automatically created for them in Entra uh, external ID tenant. Okay, so under the SRC folder, I have folder called scripts. And this is uh, really important because under scripts folder, I have all those PowerShell scripts that uh, enable me to automate things in Microsoft Entra external ID. So for instance, as you can see, I have the PowerShell script to create customer application. So here uh, I can use this PowerShell script to create application in Entra external ID tenant and also create service principal for this specific application. So in the end, application will be automatically registered and a developer can start using it. And you can uh, also notice that here, when it comes to parameters, I have customer application name and redirect URL. So customer application name will be the display name that will be provided for this app registration in Entra External ID. And redirect URL will be the redirect URL that will be configured under authentication tab in Microsoft Entra External ID for this web application specifically. The important fact is that this communication with Microsoft Entra External ID is done using a client credentials flow. So, I mean, before we can change anything in the Microsoft Entra External ID, we have to register automation up there and grant specific permissions using Microsoft Graph tab in the portal. So that's why you can see that I have tenant ID automation application client ID and automation application client secret because I use those three parameters to authenticate, to connect to Entra basically. So I'm using client credentials flow here. Once you know like this application automation application is authenticated successfully, we can create a registration. So this is very important. And obviously those uh, parameters can be stored, for instance, in variable groups in Azure DevOps. So you don't have to, you know, like store them directly here in the script, which is not recommended, obviously. Perfect. As we can see, there are other scripts. For instance, I can create a user flow with local account. So as you can see, here is the whole definition for the uh, user flow. Again, we have to connect this time to Microsoft Graph and again, using client credentials flow. And here I have to provide the name of the user flow. And below I have the definition for this user flow. In this specific scenario is our user flow that will support uh, local accounts uh, using username and password. So the whole definition is stored there. Again, as I mentioned before, you can adjust those scripts and adjust pipelines to your needs. So you can have different definitions for different user flows and then developers can decide, okay, let's create user flow with local accounts only. Let's create um, user flow with local accounts and Facebook, for instance, or Facebook and Google. There are multiple options. Okay, perfect. So right now in each pipeline definition, what I have, for instance, let's start with uh, create customer application. As we can see, here is my short definition for this pipeline, for this demo. And here in this specific pipeline, what I have, I have parameters section. So developer can provide customer application name and also the uh, redirect URL that will be registered for this specific application. This will be the web application basically. So below, as we can see, once this uh, pipeline is triggered, uh, we are using a variable group from Microsoft, uh, from uh, Azure DevOps, obviously, because as I mentioned before, we store all those parameters, tenant ID, application client ID, and application client secret for authentication in variable group in Azure DevOps. And obviously here, we are passing customer application name from the parameters and redirect URL also from parameters. And here, as you can see, we execute create customer application PowerShell script. So in the end, once this pipeline is executed, new app registration will be created in Microsoft Entra external ID. Great. So now let me jump into Azure DevOps to show you how it works. Here is my project created in Azure DevOps. And as we can see, all those files are stored here in the Git repository. Also under pipelines, I have library 
and under this library I have dedicated variable group that stores information about the tenant ID, client ID, client secret used for authentication to make sure that we can securely communicate with Microsoft Entry External ID tenant. And now under pipelines, I have those definitions. So let me show you that really quickly. Under Microsoft Entry External ID automation folder, I have created three pipelines. So as we can see, there is a pipeline for conditional access policy creation with MFA, pipeline for a creation customer application and pipeline for user flow creation. Let's start with create customer application pipeline. Let's click run the pipeline. And as we can see here, as a developer, I can provide the application name and redirect URL. And as I mentioned before, this is only the demo, but of course you can adjust the experience and, and the steps in the pipeline. So how you provide those parameters is up to you. And also how you will, you know, like automate things, whether it will be one big pipeline or separate pipelines depends strongly on your scenario. So here I will provide the name. So test customer application and for the redirect uh, URL, I will use uh, this simple URL. So HTTPS JWT.ms and I will click run. So right now what's happening underneath this pipeline is triggered and this pipeline will first of all, uh, use PowerShell script that I showed you for uh, customer application registration will uh, authenticate through Microsoft Graph to connect to Entry External ID, will register application there with this uh, specific redirect URL and, app, and the name of the app and will also create service principal for this application. So let me stop recording for now and let's see the pipeline once it's completed. Okay, perfect. So. Pipeline executed successfully. So now let's open Microsoft Entra external ID. Let's go to app registrations section and let's try to find customer test application. We can see it's registered here. Let me open it. We can see that service principal was successfully created for this application too. And let's go to authentication section. And we can see that under web platform, we have JWT.ms redirect URL. Perfect. So this pipeline worked as expected. So right now, let's see how we can potentially create the new user flow using Azure DevOps pipeline. So for now, we have two flows here. So let's check how we can create the third one. So I'm back in Azure DevOps. And right now I will select create user flow for customer application and I will click run pipeline. Again, as we can see here, I can provide the user flow name. So I will call it demo sign up sign in like this. And I will click run button. And again, pipeline is being executed. So we have to give it some time. And again, let me stop the recording and let me get back once the pipeline is executed successfully. Great. So pipeline execution is completed successfully. So now let's get back to Entra admin center and let's refresh user flows section. And perfect. Here is our demo sign up sign in flow. We can access it. And as we can see under identity providers, we have email with password. Perfect. So now we know that we can automate many tasks in Microsoft Entry External ID. However, the last thing I would like to show you is Visual Studio Code extension for Microsoft Entry External ID. Because with this extension also, uh, we as developers can easily create user flows, app registrations, and also modify company branding. So as we can see here, I'm connected to Formula 5 customers uh, Entry tenant. And if I expand user flows, we can see that here I have my newly created demo sign up, sign in user flow. And if I expand applications, we will also see that there is formula customer application, the one that we registered and here is the redirect URL. So with this extension, we can also easily uh, create different things in Microsoft Entry external ID tenant like uh, app registrations and uh, user flows. Great.
That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and helpful. If you have any questions, you can always contact me directly using my email address displayed currently on the screen. I also encourage you to learn more about External Identities Hub architecture that we created at Formula 5. You can find different videos about it on our channel. Thank you once again and see you in the next videos.